Um, just so you know, this is what was recommend to, re recommended to me for the cherries. And we just want to make sure that we spray before these little buds bloom. actually bloom. Because once they bloom and you spray the flower, then the bees are at risk. And this spray is totally organic. So we want, don't want to do that. This is a spray that's organic. However, it still confuses the bees and they lose their hives and can't get back to them if you spray on the flowers. So we're trying to spray a couple of applications before it blooms. We're using this all seasons horticultural and dormant oil spray. For at least a couple of applications, which today and then in a week from now. I've instructed for him to use the whole container. I can get some more for a week from now. Just because it says on the directions to actually saturate the tree. So we better use it all. And we'll see what happens. He's getting as high as he can. But we're so high that there's no way we can get those tops not without professional people here so this is just something we're trying to do this year see how it works and if it works then we'll do it every year and we'll have the tree trim next year this is the cherry tree in blossom after we sprayed for a couple a couple of weeks later Looks like it's blossoming pretty good. The tree does need trimming. We haven't been able to do that this year, but hopefully next year. So I just wanted to show you how it is after it has blossomed. It is a huge cherry tree, <laughs> just so you know. It does look blossomed out. However, sure has a lot of branches in there that need cutting too. Just going to show you real quick. They're yellow turning red. Here's one. They all look kind of like that. There is some green ones yet, but it's come coming to the time where we need to spray it again one more time so ago we sprayed with this first then we waited till they turned yellow and they're starting to turn yellow and then red too so now we are going to spray with this right there all natural organic Yep, it's natural and organic. So we're going to do that with the hose now because it has reached a time and this is what gets rid of the actual little worm. The little cherry worm. So there we go. Here we go. And there we go. We're spraying as much of it as we can spray. Like I probably mentioned already, it's quite tall. Next year we get to trim it. We're going to trim it before even trying to do anything. The big cherry tree. But he's going to spray the trunk all around it. And as much of it as he can, even as high as he can. Sir. It's going to be hard to reach the very top. Perhaps we'll leave that for the birds, as I've also mentioned already. I'm not quite sure how we're going to reach all those. <laughs> we're going to have to borrow a ladder that's pretty tall or get someone to climb the tree. I do have a son. And I do believe I'm going to ask him to climb to get that.
As you can see, we have a lot of dead branches up there, so we are going to spray in next spring. Again, so we will trim it first this time. Quite a large tree. Needs it very badly to be trimmed. There's quite a few cherries. I hope you can see it good. Look what's up way up on top. I don't know if you can see all those cherries, but there's a ton of them. So the birds are going to have a heyday. They're going to love it. So all we can do now is after spraying for the last time with this new spray, we are going to just wait and see what the cherries are like. We'll wait for them to ripen and then check them inside and hope those little cherry white worms are not in there. So until that time, we'll be back to show you. Hi, this is Last Garden Standing and I've showed you all the way through how we sprayed our cherry tree with two different kinds of spray. And now they finally are ready and I am ex so excited. Here's some right here. I'm going to pick some too. Maybe we can just get a close up of how good they look. I have a bowl full over there too. So I'm going to pick some right now. They're all over. Most of them actually are up on top, but we'll see if we can't get someone else to get those. Well, there's a whole bunch of cluster right here. Oh, they look so good. Look at that. Beautiful. Let me just pick what I can reach here, at least. I've already picked some already. I already have one full bowl. Ooh, these are the good kind of cherries. These are cherries that will make great apple pie. Cherry pie. Or I mean cherry pie, excuse me. Not apple, but cherry pie. So they are a little bit tart, but they're going to make a great pie. We've got a bunch right here. And right here. And I'm so happy that we got what we got. See if I can get these right here. Boy, they're nice looking. They're nice and red. You can eat them too. There's some. You can eat them too. Eat them. There they are. They are good. Mm, they're sweet. Even though they're a cherry pie cherry, they're still sweet. Very good. So let's go over to the table and we will pick more of these later when we can get a higher ladder. And let's just take a look at them and cut them open and see how they look inside. So here's the two bowls we've got so far. We've got more to do. But I'm just going to cut some open just to show how good they are. Yum! See, no worm in there at all. Let's see if we can't get another one. See? No worm. They look great, and I'm glad we sprayed them this year. And we'll do one more. There it is. Perfect. No worm in it at all. Boy, and those are some nice looking cherries, too. Yum, look how big they are. 
So use the sprays that I told you about in about the same time period. I'm hoping this helps somebody else. Do their your do their cherries and we can also have them juiced and you can also can them if you don't want to make pie. The spray is all natural. I've showed you that in the first clippings. So there you go. This is Last Garden Standing. Share, like, and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to tell you how I did it. Thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.